Okay, ladies and gents. Julian makes a fast step up first in the second half. Um, so off we go. It's everyone, my name is Vish. This is my colleague Julian. We're going to be talking to you today about the virtual teacher. Initially, this was delivered by one of our interns not so long ago, and we hope it's something that you can take away and uh, adapt to your teaching and learning. So I'll pass it over to Julian. Right, so what we've done, we've um, adapted this, we've got 19 teachers, um, so we've kind of made our own changes, but this is the original thing that we got from our colleagues. So basically, the intention behind it is that you've got a group of mixed ability children, and rather than all the, miss what do I do, I don't understand this, where do I go for that help, rather than do all that, you produce a PowerPoint which is completely interactive, so you turn off all the automatic transition on it, and the only way a child can get from one link to the next to the relevant page by clicking on that link. So this is just going to do an example. So Louis Van and Tony Gary, you click on that link, it takes you straight away back to there. Then you've got the back button. So it's just using PowerPoint interactively. Two different ways you can use this. You can either have it on your interactive whiteboard in the front of the class so students don't have to ask the questions, you can just get up yourself, quietly go down, touch the link that they want, go to that page and then go back. Or you can put this on a shared area of the network so that students can work completely independently. What we've found using it in IT is it helps those students to build independence, it helps them to be resilient in the classroom, and it also enables you as a teacher to focus on those children who do have real ability, need, you know, special needs, and maybe the literacy levels aren't very good, so they, they need that extra help. Um, one of the things we did in the IT, if you just keep this slide on for a minute, one of the things we did in IT was we colour coded different links based on ability. So if a child was aiming at a pass in a VTEC, the links were coloured yellow. If they were aiming at a merit, they might have been coloured red. If they were aiming at a distinction, they might have been coloured green. So you change the colour of the links so that students know to get those higher ability levels in your subject, they can just click on the relevant link. If they're not at that level, if they're just a pass candidate, you don't need for them to know the skills that are at that higher level, but aspirationally, it's there for them. So they know how to progress and get to next steps. So we found it quite useful in IT. Um, this is a model that's been adopted by lots of different departments in our school. Um, we were recently Ofsted, um, and we're now under Ofsted monitoring, but one of the things that we're trying to do is build independence in students. Our kids are quite low to when they come to us, so this is something we really need to build up and give them those skills to be independent inquirers and independent I think, is that our two minute nano we've done? I've got some notes there as well, so um, if anybody doesn't know how to do a PowerPoint like this, they're all on the Dropbox. Thank you.